Right now, I would consider myself a choreographer. I am more interested in creating movement. Um, a lot of my work involves the Black body and our stories. These stories need to be told. These um, experiences need to be told. They matter, they exist. Probably my breakthrough moment would be my time as a dance, getting my BFA in dance at University of Houston. That's where I learned all of the vast aspects of what dance is, you know, dance technique, composition, dance pedagogy, dance anatomy, dance history, dance theory. It was a scholarship program that I was auditioning for. We were doing a petite allegro, you know, quick feet, and you know, they were saying all these French terms that at the time I didn't know. I fell and hurt my foot and bruised a bone in my foot. I had to pretty much like limp home. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was a physically and emotionally like breaking down time for me. I applied for Freedom of London on a great resource, um, dancenyc.nyc. I think that's a great resource for any dancer looking for pretty much anything. Mm -hmm. And now I'm here. So just really just knowing what you can provide and just standing in that and going for it is how I got to this point right now. One of my mentors was like, you know, someone should create new dance wear. And I was like, I'm going to do that. That's brilliant. Like, we need this. This is important. Our founder, Mr. Freed, his ethos was always to create shoes that fit any foot. And that's what makes Freed of London so special, that our handmade method of production. When I walked into that building, I felt a sense of I belong here. Like I just knew I belong there. It made me realize that I wanted to create something like that in a place that didn't, for people who didn't have access.